Also new tonight in Amarillo, an Amarillo rescue is saving the lives of one animal at a time by organizing a program that gives them a safe and secure home miles away. ABC 7 Stephen Grave is live in the studio with more on the story. Stephen. Selena, after numerous dogs and cats in Amarillo have overcrowded the city shelter, a leader of a local animal rescue says euthanasia became the choice uh, to regulate the population. Now she's using her own business to help with this burden and give these animals hope. I'm going to miss you so much. I know. Goodbyes are in order for some dogs and cats at the Critter Camp in Amarillo, as today marks a brighter future. <laughs> you can call it a second chance at life for these animals that were literally on the verge of death just a couple of days ago. They were, they were going to be euthanized and they would have been euthanized. They were last chance, they, they were out of time and this was the only chance they had. <laughs> Both cats and dogs that were in line to be put down at the city animal shelter will now pack cars and head to a better life at rescues all over the country. This is all due to one program started by one special group of people here in Amarillo with a vision and passion to turn a bad situation into good. So we put together these transports. First week we uh, transported 40 plus pets and this week everybody kind of went on board and said let's not, you know, let's just take as many as we can. Most of the four-legged friends are headed to Dallas today. But one of the rescue's favorite dogs, quiet and subdued Bow Wow, that was originally found as a stray, is headed to Illinois today by way of volunteer Teresa Langford. They deserve a chance for a forever home, a happy home, and they deserve to be loved, just like we deserve to be loved. This is in no way stopping the problem. Uh, there's lots of things that we need to work on, but this is a beginning. <laughs> Now the popularity of this transport program of course picked up after social media after Glidewell made a Facebook page. She says she's received offers for pets as far as way away as the United Kingdom and offers are still coming in. And to see how you can get involved, visit our website, connectamarillo.com. Reporting from the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Stephen Graves, ABC7 News.